welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sarah. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I drop a new video every Wednesday for you guys. So today's video is gonna be highlight and contour before or after foundation. So I'm doing half my face before and half my face after foundation, if you guys can even tell. So if you wanna see which one I like better, then keep on watching. Oh my god, that's someone told me to do that. Okay, so this side is gonna be the side that I do like I normally do, which is foundation first, and then highlight and contour, and this side is gonna be where I do heavy and like light and really dark, really contrasting highlight and contour with foundation on top. So I'm very excited to see which one works better and also which one uses more product, like what is the better version. So, first things first, I'm gonna put some foundation. Damn, my sponge is wet. I'm gonna put some foundation on the side of my face like I normally would. I feel like I'm gonna look crazy, but it's okay. I love my little Eco Tools um, sponge here. So, I'm just gonna put it like I normally would. Half my face. It's kind of hard getting just like literally half of your face. And so this side I'm gonna go in with highlight and contour and contour first. So I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Infallible and this is in chestnut which is pretty dark for me. Here we go. I'm gonna put the contour on. Ooh. Ooh. Even on my jawline, just to see. Blend, blend, blend. So the point is you want it to be really intense because it's gonna show through the foundation, which we'll see. Oops, and I went over the halfway mark there. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Okay. Let me blend that because it's kind of stuck, the product there. So this is the contour looking pretty crazy and I'm gonna go in with elf um, medium peach hydrating camo concealer I don't really like this concealer I've said it a few times on my channel lately but it's perfect because this color is too light for me so the point is to really like highlight the face with the light color so it's exactly what I'm gonna do here so the same place as I normally would just with the lighter color I'm gonna blend it with a sponge. Don't mind my breakouts, guys. I don't know what happened. I think I was just like doing too much with my skin. And I also freaking, so I'm not gonna really highlight here. Cause we're going all in. But um, what was I gonna say about my skin? I was just going crazy and putting so much. So back to my routine, but just keep it simple. And I also, oh that's what I was saying, I freaking shaved my face, which I know I'm not supposed to, but I just couldn't freaking take it anymore. Okay, whoa. So here she is, highlighted and contour. Looking very intense. So now on my normal side, I'm gonna go in and contour highlight like I normally do. I'm doing this out with a brush because that's how I normally do it and I'm more like I'm like more delicate with it I guess but with this side you know it's gonna be covered up with foundation so I felt like a sponge was okay 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 guys obviously I'm liking this one more because which is what I'm used to. So now I'm gonna go in with some contour and I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick. Oh, I forgot to blend this one. I'm 
I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna use a different brush to blend it out. <clears throat> pretty excited to see. It is so perfect. So like I normally do, dabbing motions. This side, you know, I do have to be more careful because this is the final product like this. So we're gonna compare with just foundation on. I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do powder and stuff after, but we're just comparing without powder. Oh, and you know what? On this side, they normally do like blush underneath too to make it look all crazy. So I am gonna go in with blush also, and I'm gonna go in with the MAC blush. I don't know if this is dark enough, but I'm just gonna go in. And I think this color is called, yeah, Bamboo. Oh god. Okay, she's pigmented enough. That was a lot. Oh my god. That was a lot. So I'm just gonna <laughs> blend it out with the sponge. So I'm kind of placing it where I normally place blush. Okay, so I guess for sake of it, I can do a little cream blush on this side too. Just to see. I'm gonna use a clean portion of the sponge. Ooh, I forget how good this cream blush is. She's cute. So this is this side done. Now, this side, I'm gonna pop some foundation on and I'm gonna go over with a sponge, just like I did this side. So moment of truth, moment of truth. I'm trying to go in with the light layer just to see first, like kind of how much I did on the other side. Oh no, oh no. Bring it down the neck like I did the other side. Oh my god. I, hold on, hold on. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I did not put any, where's the brush? Freaking contour on the nose on this side. My bad, y'all. Oh, on either side of the nose. So let's just do the nose now. So I'm going with Empty Beauty on this side. And this side. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh God, okay. Can't make up my mind. I'm gonna put a little bit. Cause it's like, how do you blend this? So I'm gonna use a different, two different brushes too, just because I don't want there to be any confusion. Do angle brushes. I'm very particular about using an angle brush here. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, looking in a mirror, I can see everything close up and there's still blend here. Okay, it's intense, like. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation on my nose there, with the smallest amount on the sponge. I feel like there's a lot, I'm just gonna. I don't know, you guys. I. What do you? What are we thinking? Okay, so this is the final without any powders or anything. I'm gonna put those on in a second. So this side is with highlight, contour, blush after foundation. This side is highlight, contour, blush before foundation. I think about that. 
personally, I am feeling this side like I normally do. I honestly feel like this just covered up everything. I feel like I wasted everything underneath. Um, it just looks like I have foundation on and my natural like contours are coming out, but it's not actually like sculpting my face as much as this side is. Like I've given my face dimension on this side. And yeah, this side just looks like really nice foundation, but nothing else. I definitely think the face could use some more color, some more shape. The foundation really just covered it all up. And you saw it, I used a dark concealer. I used a really light concealer. Like I thought it was gonna show through, so. Here she is. I am definitely liking this side. I definitely can like obviously blot in the nose more, which is what I normally do once I put powder on. So now, the real tea, let's just put powder, um, powder foundation, and then to set the face, and then blush and contour like I normally do, and then we can see what the difference is with that as well. So, I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush and use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm just gonna dab it on the whole face. Oh my god, I can really see the texture on my skin. I'm using the same um, motions on both sides. Benefit Hula. And see, this side, like, I don't really have to do too much. Because it was already showing. So now with this side, I feel like I kind of have to do the work of shaping it again. Because I can't really see where it was with the cream. On this side. But don't get me wrong, this side looks nice, but... So I'm gonna put some powder right underneath the eyes too, like I normally do my Sephora Micro Smooth, just to brighten per usual. That's that, and now I'm gonna put blush. I'm gonna put blush on both sides. I'm gonna use MAC Love Joy. Ooh, I really like these like flat, dense brush for blush. I have very specific brush tastes. <laughs> so this is the final face. I'm gonna put some lips and finish my eyes off camera really quick and then I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, so what do you guys think? I honestly think both sides look really good, but I feel like this side was less effective and if you're gonna use all that product, you might as well have it, you know, do a little more work for you and be more effective. So that is my take on this, whether you should do your foundation before your head and contour or after. I say before, I think you get more bang for all your products. But this side does look really nice, like I'm not gonna lie, it looks good, but it definitely doesn't look as effective as this side did. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, which side do you like better? Or can you even tell the difference? So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.